there's been a lot of love for the new Rex Y-Wing Microfighter, but I've seen a few people, including you in the comments, mention about what if Rex was the mech instead of Luke. And I've taken the Y-Wing Microfighter and merged it with the Storm Trooper mech that we got this time last year. It's crazy that the mechs are already that old, but that does mean you'll be able to pick it up for cheaper if you do want to go through this. And instructions are on my Discord for those of you that want to build as you watch. But before we get to that, I would like to point out yesterday I reviewed the Battle Pack as well, which is another new set that's come out. And if you are building this, you can take the head from the Stormtrooper, add it to the Night Owl from that set, and you're already on your way to building a custom Cosca Reef. So be sure to check out that video if you haven't. And if you do end up enjoying the video, I would appreciate if you dropped a like. And also, you might as well subscribe so you don't miss out on the next awesome build. But I had so much fun building this, and I hope you have as much fun watching the video. Definitely let me know what you think of this Rex Y-Wing mech in the comments, as I really like the way that the Y-Wing has integrated with the actual mech itself. Now, instructions for this are already on my members' Discord. In fact, instructions went up on the members' Discord before this video was even out. I put them up last night, so if you do want to get a sneak peek of the models that I'm building, as well as get the instructions for no extra cost to members, definitely consider signing up. Brick tier gets you instructions, stud tier gets you all of the chats, and pretty much everything other than the instructions. So if you want to have a conversation about a new set, perhaps show off some of the sets you've got to all the other members, then definitely head over to the join button and join the Discord. As you can see, I have implemented, well, I think the biggest thing are the Y-Wing engine thighs we've got here. Rex is absolutely packing with two giant engines representing the legs of this mech. Now they are connected to the Stormtrooper mechs. You might recognize these from behind because it doesn't look too dissimilar to the Trooper mech. In fact, I've actually switched around the orientation of these half round one by two bricks to match the arms on the top, which you can't see from the back. You can still see from the front. You can see two of the half bricks at the front and we've got the same design at the back. The biggest change to the, well, the only change to the boot is the blue tile instead of the white, just at the front. And that's to bring a bit of color going down. And you can see that I've added a bit of blue throughout this model, like on the elbow of the arm, which is meant to represent the stripe going up Rex's arm. But of course we do have this protective pad over the right shoulder, which I feel like Lego can definitely take the liberty with a few characters more and armor them up for their mechs because it does look really, really cool. And on the right, we've got the same thing, but it's all in blue to represent Rex's massively oversized pauldron on his minifigure. It's something I didn't really touch upon. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't really touch upon in the review of the Rex Y-Wing. That pauldron is massive. So I had to get that across as well. And if we remove Rex, you perhaps recognize this shape as the cockpit of said Y-Wing. We've got a bit of the glass down at the bottom where it's either like broken off or perhaps we've got some lower viewpoints for the pilot. And then we've even got the blasters sticking out at the top and that is just reinforced with the grey plate on the back. There's not much detail on the back. I mean... The underside of the Y-Wing didn't have much detail either, and as far as spare pieces actually go, we only had this little pole here, which there's a few nice pieces in for sure, and I definitely wanted to try and implement the cockpit control, but there's not really anywhere to have got them. If I could, I would have put the cockpit control on the inside of the torso chest piece, this armor piece for the mech here, but there was just no room to do it, but I really like how the one by one bricks with the glass slopes fill up the waist of the mechs. I feel like these mechs are way too skinny sometimes, and especially for troopers that are meant to be armored up, it doesn't make too much sense. So I have whacked a one by one brick. We can move Rex's arms back for now. You can see he's also got his blasters clipped on the underside, and that's just beefs up the mech a bit and keeps the side of it straight. I know it gets rid of that angle in there, which is also continued at the back, but I definitely prefer the torso looking a lot more solid, especially with a mech. It covers up a few different points for Rex to 
no longer be attacked by it. Now, as for his dual wielded pistols here, his guns, which of course had to represent Rex's actual weapons, you can see they are quite basic builds. We've just got a two by two black plate with the white two by two bracket piece. It's one of the modified plates that has the two studs on top for the pistol and the slope. Very, very small. I mean, Rex's pistols in general are quite small, so I had to build it so that it looked like a pistol when put up next to the Stormtrooper's gun. And I think I've done it quite well, but what I have also done, and perhaps one of the most important changes to this mech, is I haven't included the two one by one red tiles in the blasters. As you saw in the review, and actually yesterday's Mandalorian Battle Pack review, the Mandalorian Battle Pack comes with a stud, which works so much better than these tiles. The tiles were also used in the 2024 Battle Pack, and I have no idea why, because we had some struggles, didn't we, trying to get the tiles out of the blasters, but with the studs, all we gotta do is aim and fire, and that stud went right over my head. I'm gonna need to start wearing safety goggles when I use these stud projectiles because I think these were definitely made for the one by one studs and the difference between the two isn't really that much except for the fact that the tile is, well, height-wise it's just not the same. So I feel like it might be in the projectile a bit less secure and the stud also just has one ring around Whereas the tile matches the circumference the whole way down to the bottom. I think there might be a groove on the bottom of it, but it's pretty much the same size. So I think that's what makes the studs more easy to fire off. And I'll go have a look for that stud after I've done recording. But I really like the Y-Wing for Rex. If we pose both the arms back, we can somewhat give it the shape of a Y-Wing. This is probably the shape of a minifigure scale Y-Wing, which... I will be building using as many Rex sets as I can, well, really as I need to build a minifigure scout Y-Wing. So you can have this on the side. Perhaps if we wanted Rex to pilot the Y-Wing again, there is space to just sit him in here and he's got some sort of cockpit dome over him. But inspiration has been taken from the X-Wing mech. As I said at the start, I really love that style of mech. I've got a few other mechs that I want to do, starting off with a TIE Fighter to go with the X-Wing. I agree that the TIE and X-Wing really should have come in a two-pack. If they really wanted to sell these mechs, I mean, we've got Stormtrooper mech, perhaps that's the mistake they made when they started designing them, but a TIE Pilot, we can even get a named character. So many characters have flown in them, Perhaps they can bring back a Rebels, Ezra Bridger, or even, I forget his name, but the Lassat from Rebels. We could definitely do Zeb Aurelius, that's the one. We could definitely get a Zeb in a TIE Pilot mech. I really want to get a Zeb, especially to make a custom one from his appearance in, was it a so, no, it must have been season three of Mandalorian. And that figure is just so expensive. This mech will set you back a bit more than the Luke mech. Of course, you have to buy Rex and his Y-Wing and the Stormtrooper mech. You could part it out, but I think it's probably easier to get your hands on both the sets. At least the Stormtrooper mech is old enough that you'll probably find it on some deals and it will make building this slightly cheaper. I had so much fun putting this together and I'm very happy I went more down the Y-Wing route than the Rex route. Of course, not only are the instructions up for this on my Discord, but we've also got the IG-12 or Grogu's Mech Mech that also has instructions available for members on the members Discord. And I'm really liking this style of mech, both the Mech Mech, which is just a giant IG unit, and also the Y-Wing. I might, I'm considering trying to part out and build Luke's X-Wing, seeing if I have the pieces for it. And I'd actually be very, very interested if I could turn the X-Wing mech into an X-Wing microfighter. So plenty of videos and Star Wars mocks to come from me, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm now gonna spend my next few hours trying to find where that stud went. I have no idea where that went, but I hope you did end up enjoying this video. This mech is so cool. I don't know whether to display Rex in the mech or to have him up here. I might need to buy another one just to fit him in. And depending on how many of these sets it takes to build a minifigure scale one, 
I think I'll probably end up with quite a few Rexes if I choose to buy all of the sets that I need. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Once again, drop a like if you did enjoy it and let me know down in the comments what you think of Rex's mech because I would definitely like to see a few more of the X-Wing Luke styled mech for different characters. So thank you so much for watching and as always, may the bricks be with you. Pew!